We'll get started. Hasta pronto. So let's go ahead and you can set your watches to other or circuit. Open up and close the arms. Just a little swing like you're a kid just hanging out. Doing whatever it is you're doing that you don't want to be doing because you're probably forced into it. And swing your hips with it. And we'll get into the, the song. A little Texas Hold'em here. All right, in three, two, and one, take your arms up overhead and just hinge forward. Lift up, hinge forward. Now I'm gonna be modifying for a change. So I'll be that person on the video that says, this is the lower version of this. Hinge forward in three, two, in one. Stay back here and just pulse your arms up and then a little pulsing through the hips. Just little squeezes here for four, three, two, and one. Hands on your thighs. Let's do the cat cow here. Extend your spine and round your spine. Pull the belly up and in. Squeeze your belly all the way up. Squeeze and round. You've got four more. Three. Two more. One more. Come to a neutral spine. Walk your feet a little wider. Take your hands down to the floor. And once again, pulse your hips. And then straighten them up. So let's go for three, two, one. Straighten. Bend your knees, three, two, one, straighten. Bend, three, two, one, straighten. One more time, bend, three, two, one, straighten. And walk your hands a little bit more forward. Walk your feet a little wider and just lunge side to side. Moving into the, sending the leg behind your knee or the hip behind your knee. Just keep the spine out long. If you want to do this, you can put your hands on a bench, a table, chair, whatever. Look forward in four, three, two, one, right side. Turn over to your right side. Left hand stays down, right arm goes up for a twist. Little pulses in your hips for four, three, two, and one. Take your right hand down. Straighten your right leg, toes up or down. Pull your right hip back. Look forward, breathe in. Breathe out. Lower the toes on the right leg. Lift them back up. Lower them down. Lift them back up. One more time. Lower them down. Lift them back up, keep them up as you rotate to the other side, then bring them down. Rotate to your left leg. Little pulses, left arm goes up. Open up into the twist for four, three, two, and one. Lower the hand, straighten the leg with the toes. My leg is not perfectly straight, they don't have to be. Take the toes down and up four times. Three, two, give me one more lift. Keep it lifted as you come back to center. One more time, walk your hands forward, walk your hips back, but soften the knees, biceps around the ears this time, now the palms stay down. And then walk your hands back in underneath your shoulders, heel toe your feet together, tuck the chin to the chest, either put your hands on your hips or thighs, or just rag out the standing, come all the way up, and bring the arms down. Okay, so the first exercise, we don't need a weight, second exercise, you're going to need um, a medium perhaps heavy set of weights for some. There'll be Arnold presses, so your palms will face in, and we're alternating arms on them, so you might be able to go a little heavier. All right, put your hands behind your head. Take your legs as wide as your hips, a little bit wider than your hips, with a slight turnout. Now, it's a combination move at one time. It's a good morning, and at the same time, it's a sumo squat. So as you're bending your knees, you're sit sitting back and you're bringing your torso parallel to the floor. All right, we're gonna start with 10 reps of this. Hands behind your head, they don't have to be touching your head, they could be right out to the side. Don't go into too wide of a plie, still your toes are not all the way turned out, your hips are not all the way turned out. So it's a little bit wider than the hips. In three, we'll do the first set, two, or the first rep, one. Now, as you squat, you hinge, and then drive up to standing for 10. Good, nine. So it's, again, it's a squat and a good morning at the same time. Three, stand up, squeeze your glutes when you get up. Four, stand up. Five, stand up. Here's your lower back, you see. Six, abs and tight. Seven, give me three more. Eight, nine, and then give me one more here. Stand up and go ahead and grab your weights. Again, medium to heavy. 
Um, I'm going to go lighter today. So, there you go. All right, bring your arms up. Palms face in. You're not resting on your waistline. In three, bend the knees a little hinge forward. Alternating arms in three, two, go. One. Up. Two. So the palms stay fa or start facing in. And then rotate. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. So we're going to be doing drop sets. The first set is 10 reps. Second rep, the second one is eight reps. Good, three more. Last one is six reps. Two more. Give me one more. And good, put your weights down. Separate your feet. Hands come behind your head, elbows out. Toes are slightly turned out. Legs are not too wide. Get your weight back to your heels. In three, I'll turn to the side, two, and one. So as you squat, you hinge down, and as you stand up, you straighten up, yeah? Two, get your weight, try to get your weight back, but try to get your knees in line with your hips. Three, four, so drive through the heels. Five, if you're only doing a good morning, that's fine. If you're only doing a squat, that's fine. Two more. Seven, one more. Eight, and stand up, grab the weights. Now, eight reps or eight rounds, eight sets of arm curls. Weights up by your chin. Soften the knees. We're going to rotate the arms in three, two, and one. One. Two. Three. Four, don't snap your elbow, control it. I want you to push, five, six, two more, seven, last one here, eight, bring the weights down, third and final set, six reps, hands behind the head, in three, two, we go. Sumo squat, good morning one. Two, drive through the heels. Three, just three more. Four, five, six, six. <laughs> Pick up the weights. All right, palms up, arms up. Alternate arms in three, two, go. Press up one, two, three, four, five, one more, six, and six. Good, okay. Now, you can stay holding on to your weights. I'm going to keep my um, leg work pretty much body weight for today. So you can hold on to the weights. Hold on by your side. We're going to alternate lunges back. And again, if real lunges don't work for you, you can do tap backs or you can do a front lunge if you prefer it. Okay, it's basically the same thing. Um, from there, we're going to take a heavy weight, bent over rows, but with your palms facing forward. So as you um, pull the weight, you're going to rotate the arms in. So they're gonna turn palms up, palms to the side, okay? This is our first set, so we're doing 10 reps. 10 reps on each side. Weights down by your side, get your shoulders over your head, you choose, or underneath your chin. In three, two, and one. So you've got one, one, two, three, Four, if there's a little hinge forward, you might feel a little bit more to the glutes. So you wanna feel that five. Make sure it's a big enough step that your front knee's over the ankle, your back hip is over the knee. Seven. Eight. 
Two more sets. Nine and ten. Ten. Okay. Um, by the way, this row thing is an alternating arm as well. All right. So pick up your weights. Hinge forward. Palms face open. As you come in, the arm is going to rotate. All right. Three. Hinge forward. Two. One. So right arm. Left arm. One. Two. So spin that arm in. Three. So you start with the palms up, then you go into your traditional row. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good, put the weights down. Oh no, don't put the weights down for you guys. I'm going to put the weights down. You can hold on to your weights. Alternating rever rever reverse lunges for six. I'll put my hands back here. All right, in three, two, eight reps. One. I said six, I mean eight. One. Alternating. Two. Drive into the front heel. Three. Four. <clears throat> Four more. Five. Six. Two more sets. Seven. Last one. Good. Okay. Alternating. Uh, bent over rows. You got eight of these. Palms forward. Three, two, alternate arms. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, and down. All right, last set. Six alternating sets. Reverse lunges in three. I'm with you, Karen. Two, and one. Six, five. Four, three, two more. Last one. Nice. Okay, good. And now your final set. Bent over rows, alternating arms in three. Where you put that? Okay. Three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and rest. Okay. So now we're going to go moving laterally. With our, arm, with our legs. Again, so our arms are alternating today a lot. We're going to step out to the right side for a lunge. Step out right, hips go back, knee is behind the ankle, come back in. Now, option to hold weights, a weight under your chin, a weight between your sides, arms by your side, or up overhead, or even just, you know, hold it in the center. All right, so step out to the right side, Sit back into the heel and come up. We're staying only with the right side. Um, from there, we do an alternating bicep curl. Right here we go in three, two. Right side, one. Here we go. Ten. Come back up. Nine. Back up. Eight. 
seven, six, five, keep your core nice and strong, four, three, last two on this side, one more, and come back up with your weights. All right, heavy weight, alternating bicep curl. If you can, keep your palms open the whole time. So if the weight is light enough, if the weight needs to be rotated, then rotate it, all right? Bend the knees in three, two, let's go. Curl one, one, two, no swinging, two, three, abs are strong, four, so get the weight down by your side, five, use your arms to pull it up, not your lower back, six, no swinging, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, good, all right. You know what, I'm just gonna use my little chair here. All right. All right, step out to your right side one more time. Well, two more times. Six rep, uh, eight reps on the right side. Same side, right? All right, in three, two, go. Step out, sit back, one. Come back into the center. Two, keep moving your weight back. Three. Four, five, six, get a nice wide step, seven, one more, is eight, and we're back, okay. Alternating bicep curls, eight reps, palms open the whole time. You got it, we're good? Three, two, go, curl. Trying to keep your arms forward position too, where your shoulders open. Three. Four, don't swing through your upper body. Right, use your core. Five. Six. Seven. One more is eight. Eight, okay. Going back. One more time on the right side. Six reps, same side. Six reps in three, two, go. Six, five, belly in. Four, three, two more. Push up to get up. One more. And we've got the six bicep curls. Six alternating bicep curls. Palms open in three, two, go. Six, five, four. I see a little bit of body swinging. Three, two, one more. Good, okay, so I know you'd love to know that you're gonna be even, so we're gonna move that over to the left leg. Same thing, left leg bends, knee behind the ankle, come back up for six, and this one will be an alternating tricep kickback. So choose your weights carefully and wisely. Look at that, Michelle, it's like a whole family of weights, I love it. All right. Put your weight into your left leg. Weights with your hands or not, you choose. In three, two, go. Eight, uh, 10, I'm sorry. Rushing you, nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, get a nice wide step out. Three, even if you're not doing a full lunge, you can just do a tap out. Two, and one. Back to the weights. Uh, alternating single arm kickback. 
So bend a little forward, bend the elbows in. Keep the, you can keep the palms facing neutral position here. In three, two, go. One, one, two, two, three. Now I'm not bending over too far today, but you can bend over a little further if you'd like. Five, six, relax your shoulders away from your ears, seven, eight, nine, and one more is ten, ten, good. All right, back to the lunges, left side, eight lunges, left side, same side that you just did, in three, two, go, eight, Seven, keep the weight back. Six, get a generous step. Five, four, three, two more. One more. Good, back to your weights. Well, for me, back to the weights. Alternating kickbacks for eight. Then the knees. Hinge forward, you guys can go a little deeper if you'd like. In three, two, go kick back, one. Keep the elbows behind you. Two, three, abs are strong. Four, five, six, seven, one more, eight, Good, all right. Last time for the lunges, on the left side. Step out to your left side, weights or not. In four, three, two, go. Six, five, strong. Four, three, two more. One more. And let's do the triceps. Just so you know, after this, we'll be moving to the floor. So if you want to take um, all the other weights with you, have them nearby. All right? Bent knees, hinge forward in three, elbows back to one, six, five, four, three, two, one more is one. Okay, put your weights down to the floor. Come down to the floor. I think you can see me, okay. First thing we're gonna do is lay on our back. Hug your knees up to your chest. Good, open your arms to a T and let your knees go over to the left side. Ah, <laughs> don't know if you can hear the sound effects of my lower back. Come back to center. Move your hips to the left, move your knees to the right. All right. So now come back and have your weights. You can have one on each side, and you can use heavy weights for this, guys. All right, again, I'm modifying a little bit today. For the sake of video. All right. So you're going to keep your left leg down for. For the three sets, it's the left leg down, right leg in the air. You've got 10 bridges. Now, you can also start with your hips in the air and then lift your leg up. Okay? You choose which is the right way for you to do this. So everybody, right leg in the air or on a bench, on a ball, or keep it on the floor and just work through both sides. All right, in three, two, we go. 10, right leg up. Two, so it's going to be the left glute working. Three, if you want more hamstring, walk your feet out further. Five, six, you can have your hands in the air, you can have weight on your pelvis. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Be careful when you pick up your weights. I like to sit up to do that. You're on your back. Your palms are going to face, well, let's see. Palms face your face. 
As you bring one arm down at a time, you're gonna rotate the palm, just like we've been doing with a lot of our other exercises. Your legs can be on the floor, in the air, tabletop, or the air straight up, or in a bridge you choose, you know, that I prefer to have my back imprinted, so I will keep my legs up in the air. All right, palms face my face. As I bring it down, they're gonna turn away from my face. Alternating arms in three, two, and one. Right arm, then left arm. Keep the arms right over your chest, too. Make sure you're using, you know, a, a heavy enough weight that you have a little bit of, you know, work to do, right? Don't make this just too simple, easy. You need to feel a little bit of struggle in a nice way. Five, make sure your ribs are pulling down. You have five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bend the arms, put them down carefully. Left leg stays on the floor. Right leg is in the air, it's the same leg we did before. Eight reps in three, two, we go. Eight, seven, six, again, isolating into that left glute. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, carefully picking up your weights. Arms up, palms face your face. In three, we got eight sets. Two, go. Eight. Now you might feel like, you know, especially if you're using a heavier weight, you might feel your core really activate here, especially if your legs are in the air. Three, right? So it's like a one side, we'll be doing a little bit more one-sided. Four more. Four. Three. Two, 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 one more. And then bring the arms in and down. Last time, left leg stays on the floor, right leg goes in the air. Three, two, six reps. Six, five, four, three, make sure you're articulating your spine. Two, and one more. Good. All right, bend the arms. You know, if you can grab the weight safely, pick them up, otherwise sit up to get them. One more time, palms face in, arms over shoulder, over chest. In three, in two, in one, go. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, last one, and bring the arms down. All right, so now we're gonna do the other leg, and when we do the other leg, we're gonna be doing a single arm fly, so it's gonna be a little bit, good, a nice way, core challenge, okay? No, I'm not finished with my workout. All right, so start with your right leg on the floor, left leg in the air, or you come up and then lift your leg up. All right, right leg, uh, right leg is the worker. In three, two, go. 10, nine, articulate your spine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, carefully picking up your waist. Palms up. Now again, you can have your legs up, down, or in tabletop. The arms are right over the chest. If your legs are in the air, you're going to feel a lot of core activation, which is good. You want to feel that. So take the right arm out in three, two, go. One. Control the movement on the way out, right? Two. Three. Four, get it? 
So notice what your core is doing here when the arm goes out to the side. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last set. Ten. And down. Okay. Feet down. Right leg stays. Left leg is in the air. In three, two, go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. One more. Good. Arms up. Legs where you want them. Single arm flies in three, two, one. Belly in, ribs down. One, two, three, four, five, six, Two more. Seven. And eight. And up. Walk up. <laughs> All right, bye. All right, feet on the floor. That was my special delivery to my husband to walk the dog. All right, left leg in the air. Three, two, last one. Six of these. Five. Four, three, one more. Good. Pick up your weights. Last time, however you're getting your weights, make sure it's safe for your shoulders. You got five, four, three, two, and go. Six, five, four. Three, two, last one. Okay, put the weights down. All right, now, moving right along, we're going to do some abdominal work solely. So we've got a single leg, one, Knee, tap the outside of the ankle, right? So we're gonna count this as one, this is two. So we'll be doing 10, 10 of these. Left leg can be bent on the floor, straight on the floor, hovering off the floor, in the air, whatever works for you. The right arm can stay on the floor. You can move it out from your head to the side. All I want you to do is kind of brace yourself with the right arm. The left elbow goes outside the knee, and then lower the leg, and then the hand outside the ankle. So you're not all the way on your side, but you're lifting and rotating. All right, right leg is first. In three, two, go. One, one, two, two, three, this is six, four, Five, six, get outside your knee on your foot. Seven, eight, nine, one more, ten, and come onto your backs. All right. I always seem to move on those. All right, right leg down, left leg up, hands behind your head, one or both. Three, two, let's go. One, across the body. So you're lowering the leg each time. Two, three, four, 
five. I need you right now. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. And hug your knees up to your chest. All right. Reach your legs in the air. Keep your hips down. L shape with your legs. If you need a hand behind your head, you'll keep it there. Well, actually, you could do one hand at a time up behind your head. So we're now going to reach alternating side to side. All right? Head and shoulders up. Belly in three, two. Right side to left, left to right. One. One. Two. Get all the way outside your ankle. Three. Reach your hand up if you're not using your hand, if you're keeping your hand behind your head. Make sure you're rotating. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more is ten, and ten. Hug the knees into the chest. Then stretch your legs straight up in the air. This time, pull your belly into your spine. Lift your hips up, but keep them up. Don't lift them up and down. And then reach straight up to your toes for 20. Mm -hmm. In three, two, go. 20, two, three. So your hips, I'm just turning my head to talk to you. Five, hips are elevated. Six, seven. Now reach your head and shoulders up. Eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five. Get just a little bit of your tush off the floor. Three, two, one. Hug your knees in. Woo. Let's go back to that little spinal twist here. Legs to the left. Arms open up. Switch to the other side. Oh, that feels good. All right, back on your back. Right leg. Now we're doing the same amount. Hands behind your head. Right leg 10, knee bent 10, straight leg. Left leg, you choose where you want it. You want it more challenging, hover your foot off the floor. In three, right knee, it's like a bicycle in a straight leg. Two and one. One and cross. Two, reach. Three, keep your right arm on the floor. Give you a little leverage to move it over. Good, six more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. And one, knees up. Give your back a break. Right leg down, left leg up, hands behind your head. Three, two, go. One. Two, left arm stays on the floor. Three. Four, don't forget to breathe. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Good knees into the chest. Legs straight in the air. Ninety degrees. So in other words, they're not close over your face or out in front of you. You can make them a little further in front. All right, opposite hand to opposite foot, ten reps. 10 sets. In three, two, we go. One, cross. Two, three, four. If you need a hand behind your head, just switch hands. Six, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and 10. Take a break. Legs are going back up. This time the hips are lifting just a little bit off the floor. Legs straight up. Belly in, ribs down. Hands behind your head or reaching to your toes. Hips are off the floor, a millimeter, an inch, whatever they are, not too much, and they stay up. In three, two, go. 20, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can put a hand behind your head. Nine, 10 more, 10, nine. Reach up, eight, seven, not forward, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in. Ooh. Take your hands on each knee and just rock side to side on your back. All right. Third time's a charm. Just gotta move up a little bit. Third time's a charm. Hands behind your head. Left leg stays on the floor or it's straight. The working leg is the right leg, the moving leg. In three, two, last set. One, crunch, right side and reach up, one, two, reach all the way to the outside of your leg, three, four, five, six, seven, are you reaching up and across, eight, Two more, nine, one more, is 10. Good, hug it in, change sides. Right leg stays, left leg is the mover in three, two, we go. One, two, three, Four, five, halfway, six, seven, I know I'm going to get some hate mail on this one, eight, tomorrow, next day, nine, one more, ten, all right, legs up in the air. Alternating opposite hand to foot reach. In three, in two, we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Again, you can put a hand behind your head. Four, three, two, and one. Good, last set. Last set, yes, we'll do some stretching. Legs up, we'll do some stretching, stretching, and then a little bit more into that if anybody wants it. Legs are up, hips are off the floor, belly is in. Reach your hands to your feet. In three, two, go. 20, two, three, four. Again, hand behind the head is fine. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, good work, four, three, hang in there for two more, and one, ah, oh, hug your knees in. All right, stretch your legs out in front of you. Stretch your arms overhead. Put your right ankle over your left ankle. Stretch your arms overhead. Pull your left, uh, it's your right side. Pull your right wrist with your left hand and just stretch the, down the right side of your body. Come back to the center, switch the legs, left ankle over right, right hand grabs the left wrist and lean to the right side. Come on back to center, uncross the legs and once again hug your knees to your chest. Cross the right leg over the left leg, grab ankles, shins, or toes, pull the heels to the buttocks, lengthen your tailbone on the floor. Put your feet on the floor, or at least your left foot. And then release it so the right foot goes to the floor, to the left side.
The foot is on the floor, the knee is to the ceiling, and push against your right thigh. Take your left hand and just guide that right hip open. So your, your right knee is pointed up to the ceiling, it's not a spinal twist. Not an extreme one anyway. Now we'll make it a spinal twist. Release your hands, bring the knees over to the left side. Open the arms out. Uncross the legs, come back to center. Hug the knees to the chest. Cross the left leg over the right, grab ankle, shins, or toes, pull the heels down and out. Then lower the right foot to the floor. Open the arms, lower the left foot to the right side, knee is up to the ceiling. Take your hand and guide your knee or your thigh against the right thigh. So create a little space in the hip here. And then you're going to cross the legs and move them all the way over to the right side. Uncross the legs, come back to the center. Oops, hug the knees to the chest. Take a happy baby here. Take your feet as wide as your hips, maybe wider, preferably. And then take the tailbone to the floor, feet to the ceiling. And then bring your legs together. You can rock and roll or just find your way up to your hands and knees for a tabletop position. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, hips and shoulders width apart. Tuck the toes, dip the belly. Exhale, round the spine, pull the belly in, chin to chest. Inhale, extend your spine, arch your back. Exhale, round and curl. Open your knees as wide as your mat, touch your toes, and sit towards your heels, child's pose. Reach all the way forward, all the way back. And then come back up, rounded spine. Tuck your toes underneath you. Lift your knees up, lift your hips up. Press the heels towards the floor, downward facing dog, bend one knee then the other. And then let's just stay in the dog for a few breaths, bringing your chest towards your thighs. Soften the knees as much as you need to. Let your head go, shake it out, yes or no? Walk your hands back to your feet, come into a standing forward fold. Take your arms behind your back, interlace your fingers, take the palms up and over your head. Weight shifts towards the balls of your feet, tuck the chin into your chest, and ragdoll yourself all the way up to standing. Stretch the arms all the way up overhead. Good, release the arms. And for those of you who want to stay a little longer, you can take off your shoes and socks. We're going to come back down onto the mat. So we'll just turn it around a little bit. And if you're not staying with me, stay home, stay fit, or hang in there. All right, so I hope you'll stay. It's a little bit more stretching, all right? Just a little bit more dedicated stretching. I'm going to try to um, get rid of this music. And if you, yeah, if you can stay, um, make sure you have all your accoutrement, as they say. Oh, thanks, Deb. All right. All right, so let's go back um, to the child's pose. So 
since we're you know already a little active, let's keep the arms extended at the front. Soften your belly between your thighs. Breathe. Wherever you are, walk your hands out to the right side. Inhale, lift your head, chest, walk over to the other side. Right arm out on top or longer than the left. Inhale, return to the center. Come up onto your hands and knees, shift forward. Allow your hips to sink. Move to your right side, sit back towards your heels. Go over to your left side, shift forward. Move to your right side, sit back. Move to your left side, shift forward. Big circles to the right side. And then let's reverse that. Go to your left side, sit back. Go to your right side, come forward. Go to your left side, sit back. Right side, shift forward. Do that one more time. Come back to center, drop your hips. Tuck your toes. Come back to center, drop your hips. Lift your knees up off the floor. Push your hips to your heels. Inhale, bring your knees back down. Sit back towards your heels, exhale. Inhale to the knees, down dog. So you can use your bench row, hips up. One more time, bring the knees down, sit back on your heels, come back up. This is a flow, come forward, and then lift your hips up in the air, down dog. Bend one knee, then the other. Press through the heels, belly in, head between the arms. Stay in stillness for a breath or two here, downward facing dog. And then shift into a plank top of a push-up position, shoulders over wrists. Lower your left knee to the floor, step your right foot forward. So, again, if you're not putting your knee on the floor, you can do this in a standing position or on a bench. Right knee over the ankle, left knee behind the left hip. Shoulders open, broaden the collarbones. Breathe. Inhale and exhale. Good. Take your right hand on top of your right thigh and rotate your torso to the right side. Float your left leg off the, not the left leg, excuse me, the bottom leg. The bottom of your leg off the floor. Flex your foot and find your hamstrings. Activating. Good. Lower the foot. Straighten the right leg, both hands on the floor, the blocks. Outside the foot, behind the leg. You know, a little further, a little back. Your choice. Good, inhale, bend your knee, bend your left knee, right hand to your thigh, twist open. Exhale, release your foot, release your hand, straighten your front leg. Once again, it's a flow. Inhale, bend your front knee, bend your back knee, turn to the right side. Exhale, release it and straighten the leg. Inhale, come back to center. Step your right knee to your left knee. Sit back on your heels. Stretch your arms out. Inhale to your hands and knees. Step your left foot back and then step it in between your two hands. Knee over the ankle. Shift your hips forward. Good. Broaden your collarbones. Breathe in. Breathe out. Left hand on your thigh. Rotate to the left side. Bend your right knee. Turn to look. 
Exhale, lower your right leg, straighten your left leg, hands down, stretch back. First time you hold a little bit longer, pull the left hip back and the right hip forward, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, re-bend your knee, bend the back leg, twist. You talking to your cat now? <laughs> Release it, straighten the front leg, fold. Inhale, re-bend your front knee, bend your back knee, twist. Exhale, straighten. We'll do it one more time. Inhale, re-bend, bend the back knee, twist. Exhale, release, straighten. Inhale, re-bend the knee. Exhale, step the left leg back, child's pose, tuck your toes. Inhale, come to hands and knees, lift your knees up off the floor, downward facing dog. Soften your knees, look forward and step just your right foot between your hands. Take a block on the outside of the right, hand, right foot, turn your back foot on its side, and then I want you to take this block and turn it up higher. So from, from the outside of the foot, if you roll it up once onto the highest height, it'll be around your calf. Take your left hand to your left hip, straighten your right leg, and turn to the left side. So your block can be a, uh, your bench as well. Left arm up over your shoulders. Tuck your hip underneath here. Triangle pose. Lift your knees up. Stay strong. Uh, yeah, if you don't have a block where weight works well, or just put your hand on your leg. Look down at your right foot. Put your left hand on your hip. Pull yourself up. Turn your right toes to the left. Soften the knees. Your feet are parallel. Maybe a little turn in. Good. Stretch your arms out. Good. I'm going to keep my hands on the hip. Fold forward. Hands come to the floor and let your body fold. Again, shift the weight towards the balls of the feet. Inhale, lengthen, walk your hands a little further forward. Exhale, and pull your chest to your thighs, bicep by your ears. Breathe across the sides of the body, back and forth, top and bottom. Right hand to left ankle, twist to the left side. Look onto your left arm. Try not to bring your weight to your heels. Try to keep the weight shifting a little forward or bend in the knees. Inhale back to center. Take the left hand to the right foot. Look underneath the right arm. Twist. Then inhale back to center. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, walk your hands in. Walk around to the front of your space. Good. Move your blocks to the side and step back to downward dog. Keep yourself in the air. Good. Look forward, step your left foot forward. Take your left hand on a block outside the left leg. Turn your back foot on its side. Now flip that block up once. Left hand stays on it. As the left leg begins to straighten, the right arm, right leg, turn to the right side. Triangle pose. Stack your shoulders, stack your hip, open it up. Press firmly through your feet, belly is lifted. Really strong through the arms, through the legs, through the core. One more breath. Good, put your hand on your hip, rise up to standing. Turn your toes in pigeon. Bend your knees, forward fold. Grab the big toes with both feet, peace fingers. Look forward, inhale. Exhale, elbows out to the side. Again, shift the weight towards the balls of the feet, hang your head. Hips are over the heels, shake out your neck, let go of any tension. Inhale, lengthen. Walk your hands forward, exhale, shift your weight forward. And then place your heels down, but soften the knees. Once again, left hand to the right ankle, twist. Good. 
Return to center, right hand to left ankle twist. Inhale back to center, this sounds like body weight, you see. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turn to your left leg. Step back to your plank. You can do a push-up or stay in the plank. Come back to plank. Lift your hips up, feel pretty short at the body weight. Bend one knee, bend the other. This time, let's float the right leg up. Open the bend and straighten the leg. Look forward, step your right foot through. Take the block outside the right foot, turn your left foot on its side, and then flip the block up once. Straighten your front leg as you open to the left side. Stack your shoulders. For a little balance today, put your left hand on your hip, bend your knee. Take the block with you if you'd like, or just step up right hand outside the right, under the right shoulder, outside the right foot, or in front of your right foot. So in front of your right foot will definitely challenge the balance a little bit more and a little di bit differently. So same pose as triangle, but you have one leg in the air. Where your eye gaze goes is up to you. It's for balance. Take a big breath. Find the biggest space you've got. Put your left hand back on your hip, bend your right knee, and just step back again and place your hand back on the block, open to the triangle. Good, hand to your hip, press up to standing, hands on your hips, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften and fold, hands on the shoulders, let go. Inhale for length. Exhale, fold. Just grab a hold of the outer edges of your feet. Slide your hands underneath them or your fingers. Elbows out to the side, head down. Shake out your neck, yes or no. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Relax your hands under your shoulders. Inhale. Turn yourself back to the front of your space. You can move your block as you step back to plank. Can you choose to bend your arms or not? But hold the plank once you're done with the push-up. Nice, ET. Oh, nice. Hips up in the air. Left leg in the air. Open the hip, bend and straighten. Good. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. I don't care how it gets there. Block on the outside. Turn your block, or turn your back foot. And then flip your block up once. Rotate open to the right side for triangle pose. Reach up and down. Reach side to side. So find all this length in all directions. Bring your right hand to your right hip. Look down to the left foot. Bend your knee. You can take the block with you or just move your hand forward. Float your right leg off the floor. Check out your left foot that it's not turning in funky angles. Stack the shoulders, reach the arms, reach and lengthen like an L shape of your body. Breathe in, breathe out. Lengthen, 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 one more breath. Good, find the basis expression as you bring your right hand back to your hip, bend your left knee. Generously step back and go back into the triangle shape. Good, inhale, put your hand to your hip, rise up, turn your feet to face the right side of the room. This time, go ahead and interlace your fingers, lift your chest, and soften your knees as you fold. Once you get down, you decide if it's appropriate to straighten the legs or not. Release your hands underneath your shoulders, inhale. Walk around to your left side. Low lunge into a plank. For the plank, you can take your chaturanga push-ups or skip them and hold the plank. We'll all meet back in plank. Nice. Lift your hips in the air, downward dog. Bring your knees down to the floor. 
Swing them around to either side. Take a block with you or have it near you. Take your heels and line them up with your sitting bones. Lift your chest up. Tuck your chin into your chest and roll backwards. Hold on to your thighs or let go as long as you can articulate slowly and not, um, you know, hit back into the tailbone. So slowly roll it down. Scoop out the tailbone underneath you. Lift your knees into your chest. Back to the happy baby. Feet to the ceiling, hands on the outside of the foot or in the big toe. Rock and roll on your spine. And then come into the center. If you have the space, you can hold on to your foot, your big toe, or just bring your hands anywhere and straddle your legs. This time the tailbone is down on the floor. So the legs are further away from you. Inhale and exhale. Now bend your knees and take the soles of your feet together. Place the knees on the floor. Take your hands on the inside of your thighs. Roll the hip open. And then release the arms overhead. Grab opposite elbows. Switch the arm cross. Inhale, release your hands. Take them to the outside of your legs. Grab that block that you had. We're going to lift it. You have three heights on the block. You choose which one's appropriate today. Tilt your pelvis, lift your hips up, and let your back sit on the block, the lowest part of your back. Stretch your right leg in the air. Stretch your left leg on the floor. Without using your hands, draw the right leg closer to your chest. Try not to bend the knee. So once the knee is bent, you're in too far. So as you're pulling the right leg towards your chest, you're pressing the left leg away from you. The action's in your body, not your hands, not any extra assistance. Bend the right knee. Bend the left knee. Straighten your left leg in the air. Stretch your right leg out on the floor. Using your body, pull your leg closer to your face. Notice how much you can do without your hands assisting you. I'd rather think of it as a positive thing rather than say how little you could do. This time keep your right leg where it is. Bend your left leg and stretch the legs out on the floor. So depending on the height of your block, you're gonna, well, you're gonna get an opening in your hips, right? But if you're in a higher block, it's gonna be a little bit more, but it may be too extreme for some of you. Stretch the arms all the way over your head. Reach long. Now, as you reach your arms overhead, the back wants to arch. So look at your, look down your belly, look at that rib cage, and see if you can drop it down so the, the back stays kind of neutral. Stretch through both sides of the body equally and as long. One more breath. Release your arms, bend your knees. One more time, lift one or two legs at a time up in the air. So now your back is supported or your hips are supported on the block. Separate your legs the width of your hips. Don't go too crazy, you guys, they're not that wide. You can bend the knees, so without too much muscular action in the legs, just let them kind of be. Like feel warmth, tingling, shaking. Embrace it. Take three more breaths. As you complete the last round of breath, bring your feet to the floor. Lift your hips up off the block. Articulate your spine down. Draw your knees to your chest. Rock and roll. Well, let's take a spinal twist first. Take your knees over to the left side. Any version of the spinal twist that feels right for you. Cross, double cross, or no cross at all. Come back to center, shift your hips left, knees fall out to the right side.
Inhale, come back to the center. Bring the knees to the chest. Now we're going to rock and roll to a comfortable seat, cross-legged or not. Find a seat that's comfortable. I'm just going to close you with a little breath. So here's where we're going. Your right hand, your right thumb is going to your right nostril. Your peace fingers go with the third eye. And your ring finger is going to work to your left nostril. Your left palm face up. Touch your first two fingers together in your lap. So, right palm closes, right finger closes off the right uh, nostril. Peace fingers on your third eye. Prepare the right ring finger. Close your eyes. Visualize, breathe in through your left nostril. Pause at the top of the breath. Close your left nostril. Pause. Release your right nostril, exhale. Inhale, breathe through your right nostril. Pause and close off both nostrils. Exhale, release through your left nostril. Inhale through your left nostril. Pause, close off both nostrils. Exhale through the other nostril. Good. Now continue doing a few rounds of that. You breathe in through the empty nostril. You pause, close off both nostrils. Exhale the opposite nostril while I try to figure out how to um, take a picture. <laughs> So wherever you are in the cycle, end up as we started with the right hand or, or ring, uh, the right thumb at your right nostril. Whenever you've done that, you're going to release both hands to the left. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. And you'll breathe in through both nostrils, and you might feel a sense of calm. So if this is the beginning of your day. And you have a lot of stuff going on in your life. This is a good time to sit down. You know, every day, if you just take a few moments to yourself and just calm the mind, you can do anything. Bring your hands to your heart center when you're done. or weekend. I hope to see you on the weekend. For those at home, stay home. Stay strong, stay fit, stay healthy.